video review for you. So I'm going to take a look at Transformers Collectors Club subscription service breakdown. Uh, this guy is using the uh, Sideswipe and uh, Sunstreaker mold. It has been redone about 40 different times and I can't believe I haven't done, I haven't reviewed this mold yet. But uh, it is a Lamborghini-esque car. Uh, I was first done with Sideswipe and then Sunstreaker. Um, what was cool with this, with that uh, Sideswipe or Sunstreaker, you can actually, this was the front of Sideswipe and then because you can rotate at the waist. So they just like swapped it around to make it different. It's cool. At least you can have you know two different, two different looks with the same mold. Get away with two different, you know, two different figures. But uh, you see, he rolls very nicely. Um, this mold, since it has been used so many times, I mean, even the club has used it before. They used it for uh, punch counter punch, which I also have, and that thing's a big floppy mess. And this guy's kind of a big floppy mess. Uh, he's not that bad, but let's take a look at the tech specs real quick and everything. The baggie it comes with. Like I said, I don't really open these because I don't really have a place for them right now and I already know how to transform them, so. But if you want to read the bio, well, there's this tech data. If you want to read that. And it's not focusing very well, there we go. Here's the bio. If you want to read that, you can pause it and take a look. A little bit of glare there. Try to get rid of it. Yeah, so there we go. So yeah, just have a cool picture of them too. But get that out of the way. So why don't you go away? So yeah, here we have the vehicle. Like I said, he is a Lamborghini S car. He does have the Decepticon logo on the hood, off center, like he should. Um, headlights are not painted; they're just plain white. It's actually a different color white. It's actually, this figure actually isn't white, it's actually an off-white, it's almost like a creamy color, like a yellowish white. And I'm not crazy about the color, it should be, you know, white-white. It did add a rub symbol, which does work. As you can see right there, very cool. So, no, no, a ton to say about the robot, about the vehicle mode, you do have, again, on the intake, there's a blue stripe. You can see the blue stripe around the edges. Paint job is nice, it's just kind of lacking, I wish it would have had a breakdown license plate right there. The rear end looks nice though, otherwise. I wish that spoiler was painted a different color, maybe put make this silver along the vents where the engine is. And a little bit lacking in paint. Could have been done a lot nicer. But he's not terrible. He's just kind of plain. So you transform him. I'm going to take this top section off and that's going to go back on later in a different spot. Um, Depending on which version of the mold you're using with this guy, um, you can form this with the weapon to make a different gun. You can put it in different spots, but we're gonna just put that off to the side for now. Um, the tailpipes pop off and form the gun. They just pop. See that the, a square hole there, and there's a square peg right there where they where that peg's on. So to transform him, I'm gonna start by coming at the rear end and just splitting it and just leaving them, leaving the halves along the sides, kind of. Crack the legs in half and fold them down like so. Rotate it at the waist 180. Come along here and there are little black tabs on the foot. And just get those to pull the foot out. And again, the different version of this mold would turn the feet different ways to get different different looks, which is cool because at least you can have you know unique looks depending on the figure. But for this one we're going to put the foot out this way, so that the, this part will be the front. Foot, so the foots, the foots, the feet are very floppy in that, both in the hinge and in the ball joint. Again, this mold has been used many, 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 many times. Pull the feet out. We even use it in the uh, the Red Alert version for uh, the custom class at TFCon 2011. Or 20, 2012, I'm sorry. But yeah, that's basically the lower the lower body done. So we're going to come up to the top, to the upper body. We're going to... Oh, see, that got flipped up. Anyway, flip up the front grille. Kind of separate at the doors and just lift up. These will become the arms. Pull. This whole thing is on a slide. So just pull it up. You can see it slides. We're going to... 
Uh, the best way to do this would be we need to get okay. There's an arm here. See where that that screw is, and that has to go on the other side. So you just kind of got to finagle it. There we go. Until it's that way. And you want the wheel on the inside. So kind of like when the wheel is over here, just kind of finagle it down. There we go. And now we're just going to flip the arms up out of the way. Make sure the wheels are straight up and down in there. Extend this all the way out. <coughs> oh, excuse me. And then we're going to fold it down in half. So we're going to fold it at this rivet. We're going to bend it in half at that so it goes up and down. And then fold it again like that. Kind of just extend it all the way up. And just kind of put... Got to make sure the wheels are straight too. Just put pressure there and it'll seat where it needs to seat. Uh, this is going to be the front. So what we're going to do is come over here, rotate the door panels 180 and flip the fist that way. So again, that's front, right? Yeah, that's front. There's a cut for the peg right there. So you want that to be the back. So you want that to be the front. This is on, this is on a swivel on the door. So you can bring that around, swing it up. Uh, let's bring the fist around. We're almost done. There we go. The doors can kind of get in the way. And his feet got turned around because they're floppy. They don't like to stay where you tell them to stay. You want these black parts to face forward too in the shins. But now for the head reveal, which is actually a pretty cool gimmick. Um, you actually just take the roof and you rotate 180 degrees and out pops the head. And as you can see, it's a very G1 head, which is the only reason this figure exists is to have the G1 head. That's why they made the figure. Yeah, it's not crazy about him. But yeah, hold on. Getting him to stand isn't the easiest thing in the world. So we're going to take the uh, intake, or whatever part you want to call this, and there's, uh, there's a set of tabs up and a set of tabs on the bottom. So we're just going to use the rear tab and kind of give him like a thing behind his head. Take his gun, plug it into his hand, and there we have breakdown in his robot mode. Now of course being from the club, um, the figure arrived in one piece, but mine, the assembly error. Um, when I wrote, when I rotated the head out, I basically got about there, and the head would be completely extended, but the back, the backpack wouldn't go past that. So what I had to do is I had to take the entire torso apart, fix the gear, and line it up the right there, because it's basically, there's like it's like a rack and pinion. There's a there's a round gear, and then this headpiece has a straight gear, you know, kind of like a rack and pinion steering works. So when the when this rotates around, it just moves the straight pin up and down that the head's attached to. And I just had to reseat that gear properly. So and then after I did it the first time, when I rotate it this way, it would go like that. So it took a little bit of uh, fiddling around, but eventually I got it. So now it actually lines up straight up and down. So yeah, just be aware that might happen to you. I don't know. It might just be mine. It's probably my luck, but luckily there's just a few screws and five or ten minutes of my time. So like I said, he's a fiddly mess because mold is shot and things like to fall apart. So yeah, for as far as articulation, head is on a swivel. Uh, shoulders are on a ball joint. They also look, they also move as part of the uh, transformation that that little arm part I was telling you about. So just that's that's supposed to really move though. It does move a little tiny bit, but it's not meant to. Uh, cut above the bicep. Double bend at the elbow, so you can get a good range of motion. Swivel at the wrist. Rotate at the waist. Uh, ball jointed hips. Yep. No cut above the no cut in the thigh. Um, there is a about a 90 degree bend, almost 90 degree bend in the knee. There is a cut above the knee. I knew there was a cut somewhere. Uh, you can do this motion, but that's for the transformation. You can count that as articulation if you wish. And then feet are on a ball joint and a swivel for the transformation. 
So pretty good range there, even though most of the time you're going to try to keep them standing because the joints are so weak from mold degradation. But yeah, the, the head is very cool because the head, they basically just want to do a, another breakdown, but they gave him a complete G1 head, which is cool, but it's kind of weird to see a modern transformer with a G1 head. do like the head, though. Wish they would have done a different breakdown. You know, why do we need another <clears throat> another breakdown? I don't know, but they gave it to us. Again, getting him to stand stinks. But yeah. Um, not crazy about this guy. Very generic. Very much like, oh yeah, that's, that's totally something we can do. Make a breakdown with the G1 head. Cool. Yay. And it's very plain. I think stuff like uh, Classic Scourge or uh, Circuit Break. Circuit. Circuit. Why did I say Circuit Breaker? Uh, circuit is a much better, much neater idea than making another breakdown and reusing this mold again. I don't know. Uh, I kind of feel like kind of feel like he would be good in uh, on an IDW shelf because this is basically what IDW breakdown looked like. So there's an idea of some place you can use him because you know obviously I'm using the stunt the fans project you know not stunticons for uh, for classics so. I don't know, maybe IDW. Yeah, like I said, meh. It's not a bad figure, it's just this mold has to die or they need to recast it or something because it's shot. It's beyond shot. It's just very, it's actually standing up pretty good now, but it doesn't really fall apart when you play with it. Like when you just like pick it up and shake it. But once you start playing with it and trying to pose it, it's very, very, very hard to get him to hold any pose. Except for NA stance. So, I mean, if you can grab them cheap, I have a feeling that for some reason Circuit isn't very popular, at least not uh, in the club's eyes. So it's up on the club and up on like TF Source and BBTS and stuff for cost or below cost. I have a feeling this guy will be too, because he's just very meh. He's very mediocre. You know, I'm just really, at this point, just waiting for Ultra Mammoth, because I don't really care about Jackpot. But, I don't know. We'll see when I get him. I have a feeling that he's going to be next and Mavis is going to be last. But yeah, like I said, if you don't have a subscription and you want to pick this guy up, I have a feeling you won't have a problem, because I think he's going to be cheap. But, like I said, it's just breakdown with a G1 head, so if that's something you like, something that floats your boat, cool. It's, that's totally what he is, he totally fits that build just perfectly fine. The head does look awesome for what it is, it's just, it's just very mediocre to me. So yeah. Also, because they, this is the spot they usually use for the faction symbol, you can see the outline for the faction symbol, like where this would be a Decepticon logo right there, but they put it here because that's where it's supposed to go for the G1 figure. So there's nothing there, and it just looks like it needs to be there. So that's just something aesthetic. Something aesthetically I don't particularly like. But at least they painted over it. And there he goes. I told you, he does not like to... does not like to be touched. He's definitely good for sitting on the shelf and not doing anything though. But once you want to touch him, nah. So yeah, this has been the video review for uh, Transformers Collectors Club subscription service 1.0. I don't know why they had to put 1.0 in there, but whatever. Uh, Transformers Collectors Club subscription service breakdown.